un peu de temps. Ông mình về các mặt tốt, các chương trình các thi sinh mặc cả, đừng có đào lại các chuyện từ các rồng sao mặc là vé như mày, mặc mặt tốt cả tăng thùng lót đi đào cho phù hợp sạch sẽ, xong chưa? Merci, Monsieur le Président. Donc, je vais demander s'il est possible maintenant de présenter à l'écran les quatre photos dont j'ai parlé tout à l'heure, en commençant peut-être par la photo E190.1.143. Voilà, madame. Est-ce que vous pouvez nous dire si vous reconnaissez quelqu'un sur cette photo Voilà, donc, a priori, il participe à ce qu'on appelle un banquet. Et a priori, ils ont plutôt l'air bien portant et en bonne santé, notamment ce qui concerne M. Yang Sari. Alors, je ne sais pas si on peut revoir la photo à nouveau à l'écran. Mais, sauf erreur de ma part, M. Yang Sari était le second en partant de la gauche. Donc, euh, M. Yang Sari est-il bien le second en partant de la gauche Et votre mari était-il au milieu Alors, on va passer à une autre photo qui est la photo E190.1.178. Voilà, donc euh, s'il est possible de conserver la photo à l'écran, et pouvez-vous me dire, madame, si vous reconnaissez certaines personnes sur cette photo Look, 
Red Lion Auto. Alors, il semble que, effectivement, Nunchia se trouve complètement sur la droite et euh, au milieu se trouve effectivement votre mari assis sur un canapé ou sur un fauteuil. Voilà, donc une autre photo, la photo E190.1.82. Voilà, même question, est-ce que vous reconnaissez certaines personnes sur cette photo Voilà, donc effectivement, c'est ce qui correspond à la description de la photo. Et euh, une dernière photo qui est la photo E190.1.122. Voilà, qui reconnaissez-vous cette photo Donc, que Sampan est, que Sampan est complètement sur la gauche et Yang Sari était au milieu. Voilà, donc madame, euh, vous nous avez dit tout à l'heure que votre mari ne vous avait pas indiqué qu'il avait participé à des banquets ou qu'il avait eu l'occasion de faire des bons repas. Vous maintenez ce que vous avez dit tout à l'heure Alors, je voudrais maintenant qu'on en vienne un petit peu à, à l'ambiance qui euh, existait à K1 et K3. Je parle de l'ambiance de travail et les relations qui pouvaient exister entre Kyu Sampan, M. Euh, Nunchea, Pol Pot ou Yang Sari, ou d'autres personnes qui étaient à K1 et K3. Est-ce que c'était une ambiance qui était plutôt euh, détendue Est-ce que euh, vous avez vu ces personnes euh, se mettre en colère, être en désaccord ou, euh, est-ce que votre mari a dit qu'il avait peur, qu'il avait des craintes Quelle était l'ambiance Alors, j'aimerais vous lire un extrait d'un livre écrit par votre mari. Il s'agit du document E3-18. Ce livre s'intitule « L'histoire récente du, Com du Cambodge et mes prises de position ». Il s'agit d'un extrait qui se trouve à l'ERN en français 00-59-54-82-00. Et en anglais, 00 10 37 54 à 55. Je suis désolé, je n'ai pas le RN en Khmer. Monsieur Kyusampan décrit les réunions du comité permanent auxquelles il a assisté. Et il est décrit comme étant comparable à des réunions de camarades ou à des réunions de famille. Il ajoute, et là je cite, il arrivait même très souvent 
que ces réunions glissent pendant de longs moments sur une plaisanterie. Alors la première question, est-ce que quand M. Kyusampan rentrait de son travail, il vous racontait les plaisanteries qu'il avait pu entendre ຍົ້ມມັນຈໍາອໍປັນແຕ່ມີໄປຄລາດແດ່ໂດຍຊື່ໄປ Bien. Il continue dans sa description et il dit ceci. Plus tard, même après l'arrestation d'un des membres du comité central et plus tard encore d'un des membres du bureau permanent, la confiance en Pol Pot ne semblait pas s'en ressentir. Chacune de ces disparitions semblait perçu comme un cas unique et probablement aux yeux de ceux qui étaient dans la confidence justifiée. Alors, est-ce que votre mari vous a fait part de quelques réflexions quand l'un ou l'autre des personnes de votre entourage disparaissent. Et pourquoi il n'aurait pas dû disparaître et qu'est-ce que ça voulait dire disparaître Ça voulait dire quoi disparaître <cười> Ça vous intéressait de savoir ce que devenaient les amis de votre mari Ou est-ce que ça ne vous intéressait pas plus que de savoir ce que devenaient les membres de votre belle famille ក្រោយក្រោយមកគាត់បានចាប់អារម្មណ៍ហើយ <cười> 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 
Alors parlons maintenant un petit peu de votre propre famille, madame. Vous nous avez dit que vous êtes originaire d'une région qui, au moment du Kampucha démocratique, s'appelait le secteur 103. Avez-vous été informé de l'existence de purges dans le secteur 103, avez-vous été informé de l'arrestation de certains membres de votre famille, avez-vous été informé des mauvais traitements qui ont pu leur être infligés Et si oui, comment en avez-vous été informé ការនោះចំពោះនៅមរបីយើងនាងខ្ញុំអមិតដឹងស្អីបន្តិចសោះអត់សំបីតែក្រុមគ្រួសារបងប្អូនរបស់នាងខ្ញុំ Quand était-ce et comment l'avez-vous su ກະດາສແລງມາວິ່ງໃຫ້ເປນຸກມີແນ່ບ້ອງປໍອົນມະແນ່ແດ່ບ້ອງກວດເຖີຈອບແດ່ມາໄດ້ໃຫ້ກວ
bong ôn nhom hơi rùm chỉ mùi nương ở bụng mà đai nhom bụng mà đai nhom có cái chạm như tới đây Donc, vous avez appris que votre famille, des membres, votre, vos parents, des membres proches de votre famille ont été arrêtés et vous avez appris en même temps qu'ils avaient été libérés. Donc, vous nous dites que, que Sampan, selon vous, il est intervenu ou pas intervenu pour faire libérer les membres de votre famille នៅពេលនោះមិនមានប្តីខ្ញុំអន្តរាគមន៍ទេគឺខាងក្រសួងការបោះទេដែលគេទៅធ្វើការនៅសៀមរាបគេឃើញមានអ្នកដែលស្គ
pour être informé de ce qu'il se passait au Cambodge, des mauvais traitements éventuels subis par une partie de la population. C'est à vous qui n'avez que pour fonction de faire la cuisine qu'il fallait qu'il s'adresse pour avoir des informations. Il n'en recevait aucune par d'autres canaux. Il n'en recevait aucune des personnes qu'il avait à fréquenter tous les jours. Il s'appelait Pol Pot, Nunchea. Il ne recevait aucun télégramme. Il ne recevait aucune information. Sauf les mots. ពេលនឹងខ្ញុំប្រាប់គាត់ពេលពេលនឹងខ្ញុំប្រាប់គាត់ហើយគាត់គាត់ដឹងរឿងមិនដឹងជាខាងអឺមិនដាញ់ <cười> Voilà, donc aux fins d'inscription au, au registre de l'audience, j'indique que nous avons au dossier un document qui est le procès-verbal pro d'audition de M. Measbon, document E3-424, qui parle d'un rapport qui a été effectué à Kusampan par Telegram. Nous avons... Euh, et également un procès verbal d'audition E3-420 d'un autre témoin que nous avons entendu qui s'appelle Promsou. Donc, euh, vous n'avez jamais entendu parler de télégramme adressé à M. Kiosampan Bien. Avez-vous entendu parler de l'arrestation de personnes qui s'appelaient Chouchet Pang. Pang. Dun. Dun. Tive Hall. Tive Hall. Vous avez entendu parler d'arrestation Quand vous étiez à K1 ou K3 Avez-vous entendu dire qu'il y avait des ennemis, des ennemis à l'intérieur ou à l'extérieur des rangs, des ennemis qui rongeaient de l'intérieur. Est-ce que vous avez entendu dire qu'il y avait des ennemis qu'il fallait purger Bien, merci, Monsieur le Président. Je n'ai pas d'autres questions à poser au
ដំណាងសហព្រិញ្ញាគេស្រីណ In the last 15 minutes or so, you have given this evidence that you had a direct face-to-face conversation with your husband about two people called Yun and Hunim. That he told you that had and that they should not have disappeared. When did that conversation take place? ចាយើងខ្ញុំមិនចាំថ្ងៃមិនចាំខែទេប៉ុន្តែក្រោយមកហើយទេក្រោយមកហោកទេមានអឺលឺការកាប់សម្លាប់ចាប់ចងអីច
One of these gentlemen was arrested in 1975. Were they people to whom your husband was close? ចាកាពីឆ្នាំមុនចិត្តសព្រាំ <coughs> And after 1975, how much did Kyu Sampon have seen both Lok Kyu Sampon and Chu Bukatan Pay? Can you help us? Can you help us? Can you help us? Can you help us? According to your testimony or knowledge, when did you sing Hoon and Hoon before evacuation? As far as you were concerned, would you describe Hunim and Huyun as some of your husband's closest colleagues because of the history they shared together? มันอาจនិយាយបានទេពីព្រោះជាក់ស្ដែងខ្ញុំអត់មានជាអ្នកនយោបាយអត់មានជាអ្នកអីគិតគូវារឿងអញ្ចឹងWhen you were talking with your husband at the later point about Hunim and Huyun, did he say anything to you about nine out of sixteen of his former Grunk and Funk colleagues being arrested and killed? ໂດຍຈະແນ່ໃສ່ຕິດມັນມີອີ່ນິໄຍເຕອ່າປີປູ່ອີ່ການນຸຍົມກໍຖ້ວບຄືນລູກຄົນນຶງຫມູ່
có ăn gì ấy được ăn quan nó tha hết ấy ban chân miền nó phần này In all of the time since 1979, have you ever had one conversation with your husband where you've asked him, Husband, what was the reason that so many people died in democratic Cambodia? And was one of his replies something like this? People were accused and arrested because they were agents of the Vietnamese or the CIA or something like that. ឬក៏មានចម្លោយផាក់ផែនឹងតើគាត់ធ្លាប់ឆ្លើយបែបនឹងដែរទេគាត់ <coughs> ឆ្លោកផ្សារដែរតាំងខ្ញុំតាំងគាត់ដល់ក្រោយមកមានលឿនអញ្ចឹងហើយរឿង <coughs> In 1981, your husband had an interview with a man called Stephen Hedder. The relevant E number is E3 slash 203. And the entry I refer to is English DRM. 00424016 French 00434236 Khmer 00385413314 And Mr. Header posed this question and I quote What I wanted to ask was at the time was about anyone who was accused of being either a CIA agent or UN agents. I want to ask if any of them were accused of being UN agents in order to kill them, in order to kill two true patriots. Did that happen among the upper echelon? Yes, this is the answer. Yes, there was a comrade in the West. He was an old man. He was accused by the UN agents. They were responsible for that. They accused him. However, they were not successful because we investigated the case in a timely manner. Do you know why, when your husband was speaking with Mr. Heather in 1981, he made no mention of being aware of the arrests and disappearances of Khunim and Huyun? Thomas, 
xua quát bẩn ná quan gì bẩn nưng đôi chân đấy à riêng rau tàng lai na để mình đi bị bướng theo mình men chuyện này thì hai thà bị phe này vô bay làm quan để mì te đâm bay rồi nay mình ghi dương nhom tự đăng cướp ở riêng tế nên nhom xong chấm rẹp chấn hay ai ca quan gì chỉ muối nẹt na nẹt na nên nhom cò ắt ắt đăng nưng chìa đài Has your husband ever mentioned to you a letter written to him from Hunim saying that he, Hunim, had been arrested on the 10th of April 1977 and that document is E3 that refers to it E3 slash 1550. So I repeat the question. Has your husband ever said anything to you about a letter addressed to him from Hunim complaining that he had been arrested on the 10th of April 1977? Why would Hu Nim, having been arrested, be writing a letter to your husband? Pour indiquer que nous n'avons pas eu la question en français, Monsieur le Président. Je ne sais pas si je suis en train de me dire. Je ne sais pas si je suis en train de me dire. Je ne sais pas si je suis en train de me your Honor, can I just say for everyone's benefit that yesterday the French interpreters came to me to say that I wasn't giving sufficient pauses. So I anticipate the problem is mine, and I will now give better pauses. To repeat the question, Madam Sosotia, can you help us at all on why Hunim, shortly after his arrest on the 10th of April 1977, would be writing to your husband to complain about his arrest. ສະໄຕກະມາຕອນຖ້ອຍຕອບສົມເຈີ້ຍລູກເມດີວີ <coughs> ពីព្រោះថាលោកសេរីសុជាតិមិនអាចដឹងពីមូលហេតុថាហេតុអ្វីបានលោកហូនឹមសរសេរសំបុត្រមកលោកគេសំផនទេហើយការបកស្រាយ
amount of contact that Madame Sosuchia accepts occurred between Hunim Huyun and Kyusampong prior to 1975. According to her this, in my respectful submission, does not call for speculation and the evidential foundation has already been set. បាទសេចក្តីចំតោះនឹងសម្អាងហេតុនៃសេចក្តីចំតោះរបស់មេត្តាវីកាភិក្ដីលោកខេសំភនចំពោះសំណួរចំក្រោយដែលសួរឡើ
The document is E3 slash 201. There is an extract on English page 0041-9513. Khmer 0029-2808. French 0061216166. When your husband said these words, and I quote, we must wipe out the enemy in our capacity as masters of the situation. Following the lines of domestic policy, foreign policy and military policy of our revolutionary organization. Everything must be done neatly and thoroughly. We must not become absent-minded, careless, or forgetful because of past victories. On the contrary, we must further steel ourselves, remain alert, constantly maintain the spirit of revolutionary vigilance, and continue to fight and suppress all stripes of enemy at all times. Close quote. Did you listen to that broadcast by your husband? Where did he go to make his broadcasts after the 17th of April 1975? Well, just so that we're clear, did he ever say to you that he was off to the offices of the Ministry of Propaganda, where there was a broadcast facility used by the former regime? This speech mentions revolutionary vigilance. You've used that phrase already in your evidence, haven't you? Revolutionary vigilance. During the period of democratic Some Kampuchea from, from 1975 to 1979, and we know the dates, did you ever, on any conversation, have a single reference between you and Q Sompon when you were talking about revolutionary vigilance? ការប្រុងប្រយ័ត្នប្រតិវត្តិរទេនៅក្នុងរៀងខ្លួនមិនស្រូវបានទៅចែកវែកញែកអី
nhầm dùng chùm riêng Đủ chân ai ca thì chết về nhẹ Hơi mà dạng khi nhầm chìa xây tẹp bái Bờ kích tam uh, Chìa Bờ bê ni bì môn máu có rương rào tiếng ốc oh. Đại là Cái hai thập đầy dương miền Đăng Cứ xây cứ mình ai Mình ai tự đăng cục bờ rương đây Nói tạm nhầm lọp đăng cứ mình được sấy thầm đá cứ nơi ta thầm tẹt bay cứ tẹt bay ấy được cho nên nơi bên tu vì chất sập ram ở vì chất sập ram chất sập bổn bổn bên nu miền vị nay nông ca chân châu đa hà rong bảy giặc rẻ xa ca sầm ngát được cho nên ca thì chơi về nhẹ hay mình dám về là vui không là vui riêng riêng luôn và là quạt về là quạt đấy quạt chui mưa côn tới được cho nên xong mà ăn chia sẻ cứ khi mình bàn thà thật chết về nhẹ ấy ở bàn Willy Willy xong anh phải tốt Forgive me to interrupt you, but that was a very long answer. But you did discuss it with him. Revolutionary vigilance, you've just said so, haven't you? ការប្រុងប្រយ័ត្នបដិវត្តគឺខ្ញុំមិនដែរនិយាយជាមួយគាត់ទេខ្ញុំគឺនៅក្នុងកន្លែងក្នុងកន្លែងគឺជាវិន
The document that Judge Laverne referred to being, I think, what you called the family book, which is to do with registering people, is E275.8. Do I have this right that this was a document that had to be completed when you and the other members of your family were moving house? Or was it for some other reason? Was the family book completed because you were moving house? Do I understand the procedure correctly that when a family is moving house, documents have to be handed over to a local registrar? Do I have it right that every person over the age of 18 has to provide documentary evidence to the registrar? Do I have it right that when the person hands a document to the registrar, there has to be a witness in the room? ខ្ញុំអត់យល់ទៅមានសាក់ស័យខ្ញុំដូចអត់បាទបាទសូមជ្រៃលោកមេត្តាវីកាលពីក្តីលោកគឺសម្ព័ន្ធបាទសមោគ
that says it's the 6th of June 1974. This glaring contradiction can only be properly assessed and you enabled to establish the truth through questioning on this issue. បាទត្រីចំណុះនឹងសម្ងាយហេតុនេះដូចចំណុះរបស់អមេរិកាពីក្តីលោកគឺសំភុនមិនមានមិនសំភ្រាប់ទេអង្គយំរះត្រូវការ
Mr. President, forgive me. Can I just uh, ask, please, Mr. President, this? Um, as we all know, um, His Honour Judge LeBurn's questioning took up a, 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 a large amount of this morning. Um, can I safely assume that I will be allowed that time um, that was taken up with that questioning? And, Mr. President, can I respectfully say that uh, I am not very far through my cross-examination notes? អត់បានបញ្ហានេះគឺអង្គយម្រះនឹងរក្សាពេលវេលាសំត្របដែលអង្គយម្រះបានចែកឲ្យការដែលអង្គយម្រះបានប្រើប្រាស់ពេលវេ